All right, so does the hardware work? Uh, now that we have software written for it. So uh, here we have the uh, here we have the test instrument. We will put it on the VNA. So let's turn on the VNA, and uh, we will do an S21, and see if we can control it. So we need to supply uh, 15 or uh, 12 volts, and it starts out here at zero zero dB, and so we will. Uh, See how we do here. See, can we get this all on one shot? Yeah, they can get it all on one shot there. Here's our attenuator. Here's our measurement. So we have a straight line. This is between uh, 0.3 and 1300 megahertz and zero dBm. I'll push the up button. I think you can see it fell. And our, our, our reading here is now 3 dB and we have 3 dB over there. Zoom in so you can see it a little bit better. So, um, yeah, every time I push the button, it goes down. So that's supposed to be 9 dB. Looks good. 11. Let's see here. Let's put it right at 10 dB. Yeah, nice. Let's put it at uh, 15, 16, 17. Here's 20 dB. Run the line. And 30 dB. Perfect. Let's keep going. 35 dB, perfect. Uh, 45 dB, perfect. 50 dB, perfect. All right, let's keep it going. We're going to run out of juice here pretty soon. Here's a 64. Starting to get a little bit noisy down there. 70 dB, yeah, it's still going. 80, here's 80 dB, yeah, we're kind of down there in the noise. Let's, uh, let's see here, scale, reference, position. Let's move it, I can go down a little bit further. Uh, let's go to 90 dB. Here's 90 dB, yeah, <laughs> way down in the noise. Uh, but anyway, uh, it does work. It does, it does work. And you can go all the way up to 127 dB. Um, and then it should max out right there at 127 and it maxes out. So, yep, yeah, there you go. It does work. I like it. It's been a great project. Um, so, um, I will, uh, if anybody really cares, I will put these boards on my share site on PCBWay. And I will put the firmware on my GitHub site if you'd like to download the firmware take a look at it. Um, I think it's a, a good design to uh, use for other things. The idea of the shift registers, I love the, the, the 595 shift register. I use them all the time. And uh, uh, you can kind of see how they, how they function. And then maybe you can learn a little bit about uh, some voltage translations and, and uh, that over here on the, uh, on the other side. And uh, maybe even switches. Uh, you don't need anything else other than the switch itself because there's an internal pull-up on the, on the uh, IC in the microcontroller. You don't need any external pull-ups on the uh, PC board. You just, you just need the switch itself. Anyway, simple, simple little project, but it turned out great. I really like the looks of it. All right, thanks again for, for the attenuator mic. Uh, it is a lovely one. Uh, there are a bunch of these that, that seem to be of different varieties and stuff on eBay. Um, so um, if you really do need a stepped attenuator, maybe buy one of these and uh, build the board. And then you could have your own, you can have your own stepped attenuator that is uh, MSI Dog approved and uh, go from there. But I think this will be a good addition to the, good addition to my lab. Um, the only things you need to worry about is that the PC board is laid out for a common cathode display, but the firmware is written for a common anode display. And I do have a little cut and jump right here that changes um, this line from 5 volts to ground to use the common, the common uh, uh, anode devices. Um, but anyway, uh, it's up to you which one you want to put in there. Uh, it's a simple little cut and jump, so not to be worried about. But just be aware that the, the PC board is not quite in sync with the, uh, with the firmware. 
but other than that, uh, it seems to be just fine. And uh, yeah, uh, the board that will be on P on the PCB Way will be Rev B. There was one PC board error that I don't want to talk about. Uh, just a little bitty a little bitty wire that was missing. Uh, but uh, the board that will be on PCB Way is good to go. Rev B, it's just fine. Um, there was a missing trace over on one of the attenuator lines. Um, but uh, yeah, there you go.